as part of my daily practice, um, I've been chanting a particular mantra for the last two years, just coming up for two years. Um, it's called the Guru Rinpoche mantra. And it goes, Om Ah Hong Ben Guru Pema Siddhi Hong. Om Ah Hong Ben Guru Pema Siddhi Hong. Om Ah Hong Ben Guru Pema Siddhi Hong. And Guru Rinpoche, it's about Guru. It's about teacher. So before I chant 108 of this mantra, I just uh, bring the teachers to mind. And I have my like direct teacher um, who with whom I took refuge just over three years ago. And he is Takarung Mato Rinpoche. And uh, there are other teachers to whom I'm connected and from whom I've received teachings as well. But it's Mato Rinpoche who I get in touch with if I have a, a, a question or something I want to know about or some, you know, some instructions I want or something like this. I'll get in touch with him. I'll send him an email or a WhatsApp message and he sends me a WhatsApp voice message back um, with the answer, the advice or ideas or whatever. So the teachers, the teachers. And I bring the teachers to mind before I chant the Guru Rinpoche mantra. And what I want to say in this film is that, I mean, without the teachers... Without teachers like Macho Rinpoche and all the Rinpoches and all the uh, the spiritual teachers of Tibetan Buddhism, um, I can't imagine. <laughs> the further I go into into all this and into the practices, and uh, the more kind of practice I I notch up, and the 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 bigger the effect the practice has, it's just accumulating, accumulating, and accumulating day in day out, week, month, year in, year out. Uh, it's been uh, 10 years now. Um, I can't imagine the world without these teachers. It would just, just the thought of being alive in the world without these teachers existing. You know, whether or not I'm in touch with them, but just their presence, just their existence in this world at this time, it's just like, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> it's a bit of a crazy thing for a Tibetan Buddhist to say, like, thank God for that, because Buddhism, in, uh, certainly in Tibetan Buddhism, um, there's no belief in a creator God. But, you know, as a Westerner, I'm still uh, rooted in that kind of language. So thank thank God they're there. I'm so pleased they're there. Uh, it's just that sort of reassuring presence and kind of what a miracle, what a fantastic thing to have incarnated at a time when the teachers are alive and active in the world it's just what what a blessing what a what a wonderful wonderful opportunity and um, let alone to have become uh, connected with them uh, as i am it's just fantastic so there's that aspect of of teacher but it really really does seem to me as i say the further i go into this every single person i meet Every single animal I engage with, every single situation I have, everything I see on telly, everything I see on the internet, every thought I have, every experience I have is a teacher. It's all teaching. There is nothing I can think of from which I cannot learn something. And I guess in some ways that like the the real the most powerful teacher is my own mind because the ideas that come up the impressions that come up the feelings that come up the kind of crystallizations of of stuff and it's not all good i mean i say crystallizations of stuff that come up in my mind you think oh you know all this like wonderful stuff to do with practice no some of it is well scummy i'll go i'll be straight with you you know because i'm a a flawed human with uh, whatever karmic backwash I brought with me from previous incarnations that I'm working and working and working through and whatever karmic fish left to fry, there are. And believe you me, there are. Um, but yeah, my own mind and the activities and the, 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 
the the doings <laughs> of my own mind is the primary teacher and i mean one of the uh the little bits i mean all the the dharma that that i study one of the lines that always sticks out to me is this line that says um wherever i am and whatever i'm doing let me always be asking myself what is the state of my mind what is happening that i'm paraphrasing there what is happening in there what's coming up what am I thinking about things? What, how am I reacting to things? How am I interpreting things? Like, why does this particular thing make me angry? Why does this particular thing make me sad? Why does that particular thing make me excited? Why does that particular thing make me happy? Why does that particular thing disgust me? Whatever, what is it? What's happening? It's my own mind that is the greatest teacher no disrespect to the teachers at all um so i there is not one single human being on this earth who is not my teacher any encounter i have teaches me something or provides me with the opportunity to learn something let me put it that way and whether i do learn something or not is uh is down to me so just a, a, a little thing there about teachers everything is your teacher everything and i mean excuse me if you don't have a, a teacher as such a human a teacher in human form as such just crack in and practice anyway i i did for seven years before actually becoming a buddhist per se which I did more out of gratitude than anything else because the practices had been so beneficial for me. Crack in and practice anyway. You don't need anyone's guidance or permission or, or authority to say, sit down for 10 minutes and just chant Om Mani Padma Hongkri, Om Mani Padma Hongkri, Om Mani Padma Hongkri, the great compassion mantra. Uh, ditto, you, you, you require no authorization and permission or 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 teaching to chant om dari to dari turisaha om dari to dari turisaha om dari to dari turisaha the mantra of green tara believe you me if the tibetan if the tibetan buddhists didn't want if they don't want a particular practice out in the public domain it won't be there it won't be there you won't find it but i mean the practices like the chanting of om mani padme hongri the chanting of uh green tara om dari to dari turisaha they're everywhere so in the meantime, cracking in practice. And if you practice daily, diligently, without fail, you will learn eventually everything you need to know. And eventually, 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 eventually everything there is to know. And uh, that would be really interesting. If you find that out, come back to it and leave it in the uh, comments for me because I'd be really, really interested to know everything there is to know. But everything that is can teach you something. So that's what I wanted to say in this film. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.